Assalamualaikum and greetings. Alishan Mao here and here is a quick quick review. Why? Because I don't have much time. I'm heading to Lisaili, I mean Skyhub RC Airfield for my job. So I thought I would be able to fly this thing today and test it. Put it to paces. So sitting here on my table that we are going to review quickly is the GX210 FPV Racing Quadcopter ready to fly from banggood.com and this is not Ishin, I believe or also called if you look at the box R E A and then there is a quad on it and A C C so basically maybe react or race a star anyway let's not uh, bother by the names let's take a look and see what's inside and what this thing can do so this is how I received it in the box. So we'll take it out quickly, okay, everything. So we have propellers, two uh, sets, all right. So yes, B3 IMAX RC. Ah, I like this charger because you don't have to plug in the main power port, but just the balance port and it charges and balances the batteries really nice. I have one sitting right there at the moment charging a couple of batteries. I mean, it charges one battery at a time, but a couple of batteries a day. All right, then I will take it out later because it will take some struggle and require two hands. We have a cable for the B3 charger. We have a bind cable, which is the uh, symbol of a fly sky. So we are expecting, no, not expecting, there is a fly sky radio inside. Then we have the uh, lock nuts for your motors to lock your propellers. So there is no self locking, something like that. All right, nothing more there. Then we have a clover leaf antenna and we have a battery tray yes this is a battery tray because the battery will go under the quadcopter and then i put the tray on it and put these sponge on on the bottom so you will not damage the battery uh, on taking off and landing of course a 3 uh, 1500 milliamp battery all right still let's wait for the quadcopter let's not rush to it right away uh, let's take a look at our old friend which is a fly sky fsi6 gt radio this is our old friend taking a look at the radio we have the fly sky six channel radio system well i'm uh, those who are feeling i'm against this no i'm not against this radio actually it is a good radio you can upgrade the firmware you can do experimentation it has good 500 uh, meters range which they claim thousand but actually 500 meters more than enough and it fits in the hand right but yeah because i see it so often everywhere that's why i make jokes about it but it doesn't mean i'm against it fly sky is making good radios all right finally let's bring out the real thing the quadcopter itself all right now this is a simple x i mean simple simple exactly the x configuration 210 millimeter fpv racing quadcopter and as they have given you a mount already tilted you can mount your cameras and everything you can mount your hd cameras at a tilted angle just fine this is a very nice thing and i believe i'm gonna mount my hd um, and i believe i'm gonna mount my run cam hd on top of it all right so let's put it down and talk about its features okay so here we are with the gx 210 fpv racing ready to fly quadcopter unfortunately i couldn't find anything about the camera itself uh, but again it just uh, simple uh, but again these are probably 600 to 800 tv line cameras uh, standard definition cameras there is uh, possibly a 200 milliwatt fpv video transmitter 5.8 GSZ, and once again in the market at the moment they are going around with 40 channel race band all right now when we come to the actual heart and soul that is let me focus the motors so we have race start 2205 kv 2300 motors and they are coupled with race star 
20 amp BL Heli uh, ESCs and these are rated for I mean motors and ESCs both are rated for 2 to 4S battery so that so that means uh, supplied 3S battery with this quadcopter will do a good job but if you need some serious serious performance you're gonna put a 4S battery in this quadcopter and at least tweak it one more time properly because I'm sure at the moment the current tweaking from the factory uh, I don't think those guys are proficient or competent enough to actually tweak the quadcopters really nice so first I'm gonna fly it with the uh, 3S battery as it is as this came and after that I'm gonna take this long free sky I mean fly sky thing away and configure it with my own Futaba radio and receiver and yes this is running a CC3D but you can always order it with a Nazi 32 or uh, SP3 FP or SP Racing F F3 uh, flight controllers because I love the way how easy it is to configure the CC3D. Right, this is it for the quick unboxing and quick taking a look at the uh, Race Star or sorry GX210 FPV Racing quadcopter now i totally forgot to say anything about the frame frame is extremely simple x frame with a lot of thickness so i'm sure it's not gonna break there's no place for the battery on top the battery will go on the bottom of uh, the quadcopter and that's where they have given us a battery protection plate it also has the um, led indicators that means uh, direction indicators so we'll see how those direction indicators work because as you can see down here there are all LEDs this means uh, well they probably thought you'll be flying it this way all the time at this angle there's a very good angle on the camera there and you can adjust that angle so basically yes people can see the LEDs uh, and they can see which direction you're going in uh, depends how fast you fly so yes, right outside the box looks a really neat and nice ready to fly a PV racing quadcopter. Now let's see how it behaves on the total stock settings right outside the box with 3S. And after that I'm gonna tweak the settings, put in a Futawa receiver and see what this baby can do. Alright, so let me get ready. Nice punch, nice and responsive. Pretty fast. Quadcopter right outside the box, flying really awesome. And before that, let me enjoy a punch one time. That's plenty of speed on 3S. Check this out. Very, very quick throttle response on these ESCs. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.